What's your favorite festival and why do you love it? Is it the music, the colors, the culture, or perhaps the sheer joy of being a part of something larger than life? Festivals are magical. They are a time when we step out of our daily routines, immerse ourselves in a sea of vibrant colors and music, and celebrate. They are a testament to humanity's collective spirit, a celebration of our shared joys and cultural heritage. Around the world, there exist a myriad of festivals, each with its unique charm and allure. From the deserts of Nevada to the bustling streets of Brazil, from ice-capped landscapes in China to the tomato-strewn avenues of Spain, festivals bring people together in a riot of color, creativity, and camaraderie. In this journey, we will be exploring some of the world's most intriguing festivals. These aren't just events, they are experiences moments that captivate the senses and create memories that last a lifetime. They are the places where cultures come alive, where traditions are celebrated, and where the human spirit shines the brightest. So buckle up as we take a journey across the globe, exploring the vibrant, the unique and the downright spectacular festivals that you should add to your bucket list. We're starting our journey in the Nevada desert, at a place where creativity meets community, the Burning Man Festival. Like a mirage rising from the sun-baked plains, this spectacle of art and human connection was born in the summer of 1986, and it has since blossomed into one of the most iconic festivals the world over. Imagine a city that exists for only a week, a temporal metropolis of the mind, assembled by its own citizens who are guided by a set of principles that foster creativity, self-expression, and communal effort. This is Black Rock City, the heart of the Burning Man Festival, here, the lines between spectator and performer blur as everyone becomes a participant, contributing to the city's culture. The festival is a canvas for artists to create large-scale installations that challenge the norms of traditional art. These pieces often interact with the environment, and their transient nature mirrors the fleeting existence of Black Rock City itself. From towering sculptures that pierce the desert sky to intricate creations that play with light and shadow, the art of Burning Man is as diverse as it is inspiring. But the true essence of Burning Man lies in its sense of community. The ethos of the festival encourages cooperation, participation, and radical inclusion. Everyone is welcome, and everyone is valued. The bonds formed here under the vast desert sky often outlast the temporary city itself. It's a place where you can lose yourself to find yourself, a place that exists outside of time, yet is deeply rooted in the present moment. So as the sun sets on Black Rock City, casting long shadows over the desert, the effigy of the Burning Man stands tall, ready to be set ablaze. This ritual is not just a spectacle of fire and light, but a celebration of transformation, a symbol of the impermanence that defines our lives. So if you're in for an experience that defies the norm and embraces the extraordinary, Burning Man is the festival for you. Next, we're heading to the land of Samba and Sunshine, Brazil, for the world-renowned Carnival. Immerse yourself in the vibrant pulse of Brazil, a land where the rhythm of the Samba beats in the hearts of its people and the sun never fails to shine. Welcome to the Carnival, the world's most spectacular party, where the spirit of festivity paints the streets in a riot of colors and the infectious energy sweeps you off your feet. This grand spectacle has a rich history that dates back to ancient times, originally a pagan festival held in honor of the gods. Over time, it evolved and intertwined with local culture and Christian traditions, becoming the carnival we know today. The word carnival itself is derived from the Latin term carnevale, meaning farewell to meat, marking the start of the Lenten period of fasting and penance. Every year, for five days leading up to Ash Wednesday, Brazil transforms into a vibrant tableau of parades, costumes, and music. The streets pulse with the rhythm of samba, the national dance of Brazil, and the air fills with the sound of drums and the cheers of millions of spectators. This is not just a festival, it's a collective expression of joy, a testament to the spirit of Brazilians. The carnival is a time when social hierarchies dissolve, and everyone, regardless of their status, comes together to celebrate life. The festivities reach their peak with the Grand Parade of the Samba Schools, a spectacle of elaborate floats, flamboyant costumes, and skilled dancers moving in perfect synchrony to the beat of the samba. Each school competes with the others, vying for the title of the best in show, their performances judged on their creativity, spirit, and of course their samba. 
It's not just the grandeur of the parades that's captivating, but also the infectious energy that fills the air. The carnival is a festival that embraces everyone, inviting them to let loose, dance, and live in the moment. It's a celebration that attracts millions of people from all corners of the globe, making it the greatest show on earth. Carnival in Brazil, a festival where the rhythm of life takes over the streets, and the spirit of celebration is contagious. From the heat of Brazil, we journey to the chilly landscapes of Harbin, China, for the spectacular International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival. An annual event that transforms the frigid winter into a celebration of art and culture, this festival is a testament to human creativity and resilience in the face of nature's harshest elements. The International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival is steeped in history, tracing its origins back to the early 1980s. What started as a humble local event has bloomed into a global spectacle, attracting artists and spectators from all corners of the world. These artists brave the biting cold, their hands masterfully crafting intricate designs out of blocks of ice and snow, turning them into breathtaking works of art. But these are no ordinary sculptures. They are colossal masterpieces, some towering over 20 meters high, lit from within by multicolored lights that create a surreal, dreamlike atmosphere. These are the largest ice sculptures in the world, a testament to the scale of this incredible festival. From epic ice fortresses to delicate snowflakes, the range and scale of the sculptures are a sight to behold. The festival isn't just about the sculptures, though. It's about the unique atmosphere that permeates the air. The city of Harbin becomes a winter wonderland, with snowy streets twinkling under the glow of the ice sculptures and laughter echoing through the chilly air. It's a place where the cold is celebrated, where the harshness of winter is turned into something beautiful and magical. The International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival is more than just a showcase of artistic talent. It's a testament to the human spirit, to our ability to create beauty in the face of adversity, to transform the cold and the ice into a canvas for imagination. It's a celebration of winter, of art and of human resilience. A truly icy spectacle, the Harbin Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival turns the cold into an art form. From the icy wonders of China, we travel to the warm, passionate heart of Spain for the world's biggest food fight, La Tomatina. In the small town of Buñol, near Valencia, a peculiar tradition has been painting the town red since 1945. It's not paint though, but rather ripe tomatoes that provide the color. This is La Tomatina, a festival that transforms the quaint streets into a vibrant, juicy battlefield for an hour of pure, unadulterated fun. Legend has it, the festival kicked off with a spontaneous food fight amongst locals during a town celebration. The event was such a hit that it resurfaced the following year, and the year after that, growing in size and popularity with each passing summer. Today it's an annual gathering that draws tens of thousands of people from around the world, all eager to partake in the world's largest tomato fight. As the clock strikes 11 on the last Wednesday of August, a cannon fires, signaling the start of the chaos. Trucks loaded with over 150,000 tomatoes roll into the town square, and the air fills with anticipation. Then, it's every man, woman and child for themselves, as tomatoes start flying in every direction. This isn't a food fight, it's a food war, and it's as messy as it is exhilarating. But amidst the tomato carnage, there's a palpable sense of camaraderie and community. Laughter and cheers echo through the air, mixing with the squelch of tomatoes underfoot. The atmosphere is lively, jubilant, and somewhat surreal. Strangers become friends, united by the joy of the moment and the sheer absurdity of it all. When the final tomato is thrown and the cannon fires once more, the town is awash in a sea of red, and everyone is a winner. La Tomatina is more than just a festival. It's a testament to the Spanish spirit of camaraderie and joy, a celebration of life's simple pleasures, and a reminder not to take ourselves too seriously. After all, we're all here for a good time, not a long time. So why not embrace the chaos, let loose and have a little fun? La Tomatina, a festival that proves sometimes playing with your food is not just allowed, it's encouraged. Finally, we head to the jazz capital of the world, New Orleans, for the cultural spectacle that is Mardi Gras. Originating from medieval Europe and making its way to the New World in the late 17th century, Mardi Gras has evolved into a festival that is uniquely New Orleans. The city comes alive with the spirit of Mardi Gras, a celebration that is not just a day, but an entire season. 
For months leading up to Fat Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday, the city is ablaze with excitement and anticipation. The air is rich with the aroma of Creole cuisine, the streets echo with the sound of jazz and blues, and the cityscape is awash with a riot of purples, greens, and golds. The heart of Mardi Gras lies in its parades, a dazzling spectacle of elaborately decorated floats, flamboyant costumes, and high-spirited revelry. These parades, organized by social clubs known as crews, are where the magic happens. Beads, doubloons, and other trinkets are thrown from the floats into the cheering crowds, creating a sea of reaching hands and gleaming smiles. Yet Mardi Gras is more than just the parades. There are the private balls where the crews hold their royal courts and the lucky few are invited to partake in a night of elegant pageantry. There is also the festive atmosphere that permeates every corner of the city, from the grand mansions of the Garden District to the vibrant streets of the French Quarter. Mardi Gras is a celebration of life, a time when the city of New Orleans comes together to revel in its culture, its music, and its spirit. It's a festival that truly embodies the essence of the city, its resilience, its diversity, and its unwavering love for a good time. Mardi Gras, a festival that epitomizes the spirit of New Orleans, vibrant, musical, and full of life. From the deserts of Nevada to the streets of Brazil, the icy landscapes of China, the lively squares of Spain, and the jazz-filled air of New Orleans, we've journeyed through some of the world's most exciting festivals. We've ignited our creativity at Burning Man, danced to the samba beats of Brazil's carnival, marveled at the frosty masterpieces of China's International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival, indulged in Spain's messy, tomato-filled merriment of La Tomatina, and immersed ourselves in the cultural spectacle of New Orleans Mardi Gras. Each of these festivals offers a unique experience, a chance to step outside of the everyday and into a world of celebration and cultural richness. They serve as an invitation to participate in the joy, creativity and community spirit that defines us as human beings. So which of these festivals are you adding to your bucket list? Remember, life is a celebration, so make the most of it. Until next time, keep exploring and keep celebrating.